all, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jiu-jitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. So far, so good in the octagon for the Brazilian light heavyweight contender. Johnny Walker gets a step up in competition here tonight. Yes, and he has stepped up to every person that he's fought, and he's not he's dominated them. Now, the only adversity he had is hurting himself, finishing a fight, right, doing right, his celebratory right. worm. I said, Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker. You gotta find a different way to celebrate, my friend. Yeah, dislocated his shoulder after the Misha Serkunov fight. That was another first round finish for Johnny Walker. Has a great frame, great length for this light heavyweight division. We will see how it goes for Johnny Walker Blue here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt more than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Misha Sarkuna! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this fight. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters. UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. Let's see if he can get that jab going on. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight to his opponent. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. And he landed the right hand there. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Side control now, not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks, but get to your hand, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up. Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Nicely done. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Misha Serpent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And back to his feet. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that game. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You're starting to take a lot of damage to that eye. I need you to circle away from that side. You have to be careful now. Be cautious. Are you ready? You ready? Second round here. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Good punch, Lance. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. Oh! He's a He might be out. And now 
he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Oh, clean entry as he gets the takedown there. Great entry, great timing, great finish. What a fantastic job by this young man. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He a lot of fighter better move. Yeah, he's gotta move, John. He's gotta shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's but 61 total strikes have landed for Misha Serpin. Well, you gotta say this fight. Another big takedown. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Better defense, better defense. Get that Ooh, big shot land. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh! Deuce Burton, serve him up. Go get him. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Back to the feet. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Back to the feet. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So another takedown here by the Canadian circuit. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. And he's out. Worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Ooh, what a punch. He hurt him. 30 seconds to go in the round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh! Gotta be careful, Arbor. Oh, no. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So. Back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight.
Ready? Fight! Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he's got his back. Big lift coming. It's time to take him for a ride. The Canadian Sirkunov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. So he blocked the strike there, counters beautifully with a jab. And at least in this matchup tonight, DC, size matters. In the tight clinch, look for the knees to start. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice back control. He's got it here. He's got to lift him and get him in the air immediately. Great time. Double leg is good. Both fighters get up now. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And he switches to side saw here yet again. Not anymore. Beautiful trick to get this fight to the ground, DC. No effort, John. No effort. When you do it right, it takes no effort. And this young man just did it right. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, whatever works. Now he switches his stance again. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Trying to set up a submission now. Oh! Oh, man, that was slick. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. The unofficial numbers, 92 total strikes have landed for Misha Serpin. Well, not this fighter's most accurate effort to date necessarily, DC, landing with 33% accuracy here against Johnny Walker. Visibly limping here. Timing his shots nicer here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up. But I got an idea. How about don't get taken down in the first How place? How about defend yourself? Over and over, you're getting taken down. You're losing the fight. you got to change something. And for the offensive wrestler, he's continuing on the path. Right. working. Single collar tie there. Big call punch man. Now he gets back in the ring. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the vocal time yeah. boxing district. He's used everything he could early in the fight, and now he's just fight. Flipped him with a right hand there. Good position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the cage. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be with another takedown land. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Serkunov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Good stick. As he presses forward with the combination there. Misses again with a right punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, now there's another power takedown there. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Wow, what a kick! Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Get right here! Oh! What a fantastic stroke! That'll do it! He's done, he's done! Again, the winner 
Ward here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number three. To play the winner by TKO, Misha Sakuna. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.